Well, folks, it's been a long time. It's been a hot minute since I've got an update on on this barn. So we've gotten we, we've gotten somewhere, I think. Uh, this is where the headlocks start. That's the first pipe, obviously. So the feed manger will be here, all the way down through. Headlocks every ten foot. There's a pole. All these pallets are the mattresses that will go down for the cows to lay on. Um, here are the 12 foot waters, big old things that'll sit on top of those. This is their station. The electric is for the uh, water heaters. These four pipes around the water will be guards to keep the cows out standing in them because they enjoy cooling their feet when it gets warm this section here from this curb to that curb is these are the stalls so the mattresses will be you know there'll be a stall here a section and then obviously a divider and a stall here and these are called head-to-head -head stalls because the cows obviously will be facing each other head to head Here's the pipes. We cut out holes in the bottom of the pipes uh, as we stick them in the concrete to allow more, more concrete to, to get around the pipe inside and out. Um, this is obviously grooved for the cows to walk across, as is the scrape alleys. Here are these tubes. Once a long time ago when I made the video, the initial video, I showed these tubes and how he had to dig these tube spots where the manure will travel down through after the scrape alley, after the scraper scrapes it. Anyhow, a tube there, a tube here. There's four of them in all. Um, once upon a time, I showed you the robot basins and those are down there in that robot room now. Um, today, I... I worked on grading the edge over here where he's going to put another scrape alley to mimic that side. This is the tube. Another one, obviously just put in. We backfill around it um, to, to grade, obviously. And then we'll pour the scrape alley. Here's obviously one section of cow beds. Uh, we can't pour this until the scrape alley's until the scrape alley's poured. We can't pour the scrape alley until the tube is in. So everything has to follow sink. Here is number four tube all the way down through. And the other feed alley all the way down there. Pipes again every ten feet. So, here's the grooves. Got to have that so the cows don't slip. Here's a cross alley. Another water. So each group will have three waters. Three 12-foot waters. There are four groups in this barn. I've spent uh, most of my last six months in that machine right there. It is a long time. We had to buy another scraper for the bucket because I've worn it out. Exciting. Robots are starting to go in. This is exciting. Plastic was up because we heated the inside once upon a time. Uh, some plastic has fallen, but we heated it so we can paint the walls uh, with epoxy um, prior to the robots going in. I'll look at those and I'll show you those in a minute. Here are the end of the tubes that we just poured today. We poured, we call them pillars or pucks with a P. Um, we pour these pucks and then we set the tubes on it and then we straighten up the tubes. We set the tubes with the excavator, set them down on there nice and carefully and then we straighten them with the excavator as well. 
according to a string line. So these pucks, these pillars were poured today. Um, and we only were able to pour four of them today because of, well, this is all, it all has to do with being able to reach with the concrete truck and the conveyor, the belt truck, we call it. Um, cause you can't get a normal truck back in here. So it has to be a belt truck, but you can only do sections at a time or the belt truck won't fit. And then you're going to be wheelbarrowing and that won't be pretty, won't be fun. Um, here is that door. There is where the cows, the main group of cows will be coming in and out. So here's our walkway to get across. Here is cross alley for the cows to get in and out of the barn. More feed alley. There's a big old robot room. I'm trying to hustle that way. This video is not like 10 hours long. All poured today. We did another 40 yards today. I think we're, I don't know, we're over a thousand yards so far. 1200, 1100, I don't know. No idea. Another huge section of cow bed poured all the way down through. Um, I can walk on it, but I'm not going to. Let me jump. Because <coughs> they're using hot water and hot material today, uh, still, because of the winter. So when you pour with hot material like that, it dries extremely fast when the temperature outside is already 60 degrees. And this is the other half that they poured today of the scrape alley, uh, locking in that tube the rest of the way. All the way down. More cow bed, that will be poured next Tuesday. That's the next plan. It's all graded off. Uh, so we've got that finalized. So this side, another water right there, obviously. Water. There are four waters right near the robot room. Two for one group, and then the other water's way down there. That'll be three. So a uh, look at the robot room. That is the tentative spot for the foot bath. Those little round hockey puck looking things, those are where the pipes, and the, the pipes will plan to sit um, for the rails and such. That will hold the cows into the robot uh, machine, I guess. And that's what the pipes are gonna look like. They're just sitting on top of those little wooden pucks. Um, I don't know what else, those are roofs roots i guess that go on a robot i don't know why but whatever came with it so i made a full circle around the robot room and lights boom it's a hole in here it's a really hole anyhow here's the machines um i can't really do much to show you how they work or anything i can open it I can open doors. That's about all I can do. That's the milk jar. Uh, milk pump way back in there. Each one has its own milk pump. Lots of lots of st stuff in there. I don't know. Here's the screen. Here's the vacuum punk. pump. Yeah, punk. Here's the vacuum pump. And that vacuum pump controls that robot. And it crosses the bridge right here all the way to the other side to control that robot. So this robot over here does not have its own vacuum pump because it's sharing this one. Anyhow, stuff, stuff, uh, stuff. That's all I can say, stuff. They're working on the, the milk lines. Um, they are getting those completed. So here's our robot room. We got four doors, light switches at every door. Um, so obviously, if you can imagine, this robot and that robot is part of, we'll just call it group one. And then that robot and that robot is group two. Group three for those two, and then group four. If that makes any sense. I hope it does. But, um, 
yeah, that's kind of about it. As far as I know, we're going to have chemicals and such uh, for the pre-dips and uh, the wash down and all that stuff is going to go along this wall. So we have lots of space in here, which is good. Um, the walls are epoxied as of right now. The floor will be epoxied before we start. I wanted them to get all their scuffing and bouncing and banging around done in here prior to me doing the epoxy um, so it doesn't get torn up. That's bad. Uh, I don't know what else to show you about this room. That's about it. It's not much, not very exciting yet. I mean, it is because there's progress, but. Pop back out, and here we are on this side of the robot. Well, I guess I can tell you those. Though that is the these, this eight-inch line here has to go in from this area. There's a little cut knockout on here in that uh, precast thing. From there into the tube. You know, once the tube is set, then we gotta notch out a hole in the edge of that tube. Uh, because that basin right there holds, like, oh, that's where the milk gets, reject, rejected milk gets dumped into that. Uh, obviously, when a cow stands there to get milked, uh, she'll, I'm sure she'll use the bathroom while she's there. She won't hold it until she's done, but here's the, where the grain trickles down into to keep her busy while the arm comes out and does its business. But it'll be an exciting day when I get to show you how they all work. Um, yeah, this side's gonna mimic the other side. So there's gonna be a foot bath here and foot bath down there. So yeah, I don't know, that's about it. Not a whole lot you know, else to show you. Uh, next week we got a lot of concrete coming again so we can get more done we're cruising we're coming we're going as fast as we can like the the mason guy says you know we keep throwing hundreds of yards down on the ground and just doesn't seem to go anywhere so i guess that's my story there's my update i'm sorry again that it took so long to do one uh, i guess before you know it we're four months later and yeah Put the tube in, and then we do flowable fill. We call it flowable fill. Uh, and that goes up underneath the tube. As you can see there, there's a gap. So we set, we dig the trench, we pour the pillars at four inches high, and then we pour the flowable fill, which is like a mortar. And it, 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 does, it, it is exactly what it sounds like, it's flowable. They pour it on one side and it just kind of rushes underneath it. And when it hardens, it is a great base. In fact, there's part of it. This is where we ran out. You know, it almost looks like concrete, but it's not. It's just, just putty. So yeah, set the tubes, pour the fill, the flow will fill, and then we'll fill with dirt and sand, everything else on the edge and get it graded off and then we'll pour concrete again and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat so that's what i got electrical stuff up there air tanks up there um and the grain guys farmer boy actually is what they're called company um they do a lot of work on the whole east coast i think they are going to be coming in a couple weeks to start setting up for the grain <laughs> Uh, green bins that go up on top I don't know hopefully I didn't bore you but that's the story um, yeah that little square up there in the ceiling that's the knockout where the milk line is going to go so it's going to travel from the robot room over to that angled wall and then all the way across that angled wall until it gets to that square and then through the square to the milk house um, yeah, how's that? Here's an update for you. Guess if you got questions, let me know. Cool.
hey, we will talk to you, hopefully not another four months, but I'll talk to you. I'll do another update here when we get closer, if I can remember. All right, folks. Thank you for watching. Later.